Ja bih najavila našeg sledećeg predvača, to je koleginica sa elektrotehničkog fakulteta, profesorka Nataša Ćirović, koja će održati predavanje na temu primjena matematičkog softvera u numeričkoj matematici za studente elektrotehnike. I samo da... Hvala na najavi i na pozivu da učestvujem ovde sa vama. I will switch to English for my presentation. So I'm a mathematician here at the School of Electrical Engineering and I teach courses in numerical mathematics for bachelor students. And I will share with you some experiences regarding this in the aspect of uh, various uh, software applications that uh, we are using uh, within these uh, courses. Uh, during the past few decades, the, uh, the nature of uh, introductory courses for students of engineering uh, have been um, uh, changed, uh, basically from purely theoretical aspects to being more application-driven and uh, using uh, uh, software related to, to numerical computations. Uh, we use, so I covered here various applications of uh, uh, software that uh, uh, we use in the numerical mathematics courses. Uh, some of these are online educational platforms, text processing tools, uh, mathematical software tools, and uh, especially spreadsheet uh, uh, software. Uh, regarding online educational platforms, we use them mostly to facilitate uh, administratively the, the courses. Students in all of these courses uh, do some kind of um, uh, usually uh, programming assignments and uh, in order to uh, gather, grade uh, all of these assignments, we use uh, uh, online educational platforms. So uh, previously we used in the past three years uh, Moodle uh, for such administration. Moodle is uh, free and open uh, source uh, software. It's a learning management system and it's very, uh, how to say, uh, it's very serious. So it uh, covers uh, all the uh, methodological uh, um, aspects of, uh, of learning. Uh, we, we use the e-learning platform. It is uh, the Computer Center University of Belgrade hosts this platform on its website, and uh, this is what we were, we were using. Uh, so it's, it's not very user-friendly, but uh, when someone gets acquainted with it, it's, it gives uh, a lot of uh, powerful tools for, for managing courses. Uh, the capabilities vary depending on the administrative settings done by the host, but uh, uh, there's a large number of uh, plugins it allows uh, various capabilities, for example, video streaming and so on. Uh, during the last semester, because of the pandemic uh, situation, we were forced to move the, uh, the teaching process to online and our School of Electrical Engineering provided a Microsoft Teams platform. So it's not nearly as powerful as Moodle. Uh, for example, uh, the assignments uh, cannot be uh, made custom according to subgroups uh, in the course. But on the other hand, uh, live streaming is very, very easily implemented here with the live recording. So it has some ups and downs, but some basic uh, features for, uh, for um, assignment posting and grading are available. Text processing tools, uh, mainly uh, the student use them uh, in order to create reports for their programming assignments. And uh, we have uh, several templates available. Uh, LaTeX is one of them. Uh, it's open source document preparation system with various distributions for the actual implementation and editors. Uh, and also there are templates in um, uh, LibreOffice and in Microsoft Word. Uh, I would just want to show you uh, 
uh, here uh, the LaTeX template for uh, the reporting. Basically here on the left side uh, is the code uh, that uh, provides the formatting uh, and the text. And uh, uh, here I uh, used the listings package, which uh, allows uh, the source code uh, to be imported uh, in the document. So here uh, for various programming languages and here you can see uh, Python external uh, here, the command that uh, imports the code of bisectia num.py uh, file. And on the, on the right hand side, you can see the output. It is in uh, PDF and uh, it uh, provides the coding together with the coloring of some keywords. So I thought this was cool to show you uh, this kind of possibility. Regarding spreadsheet software, uh, it, uh, it, we find it very useful uh, to use it in uh, numerical courses. Uh, it allows automatic uh, uh, calculations and uh, we don't use any fancy um, micros here, but uh, actually just uh, basic uh, formula bar. And that approach allows us to uh, show the entire process of the numerical algorithm to students without uh, tiresome calculations on the Digitron by hand. And uh, here, both uh, LibreOffice Calc or Microsoft Excel can, can be used uh, for these uh, applications. And um, the most valuable uh, are uh, various Microsoft software tools, uh, mathematical software tools. Uh, that can be used for numeric and symbolic mathematical computations. Predominant proprietary uh, packages used in the academic environment are Maple Mathematica uh, MATLAB. And uh, during the past decades, uh, there was a number of free and uh, open pa uh, source packages developed with more or less success. Maple is a proprietary software that uh, we used in the last semester. Uh, we had the opportunity to obtain the license uh, for Maple through a project supporting the, by the Ministry of uh, Education through a um, project uh, related to higher education development. It includes a sub package. It's a student package specifically designed uh, to uh, provide insight uh, into the uh, numerical methods for students, so not only to provide the final result, but also to uh, give some additional insights. And uh, later on, I will show uh, an example and we will see how, how that, uh, what that looks like. Uh, regarding open mathematical software tools, GNU Octave has shown to be the most successful alternative to MATLAB. Uh, student use it uh, a lot, it's available. It also has an online version, uh, which uh, is an advantage, especially for students with modest technical capacities. Uh, it's an alternative to, to MATLAB. Also SageMAT, it's an open source uh, software. It's built upon uh, Python and uh, it can be used both on a local computer uh, as well as online. And uh, it has some additional um, uh, capabilities of uh, being used also as an educational platform as well. Python programming language, it's a high level general purpose programming language, but it has uh, a lot of libraries that have been developed. And some of the most um, uh, mostly used uh, libraries for numerical calculations are NumPy, SymPy for symbolic mathematics, CPy, uh, it's uh, for scientific and mathematical problem solving. Matplotlib, it's uh, for creating uh, graphics and visualizations in, uh, in, in Python. I will also show some uh, uh, examples a little bit later. Uh, what is, uh, since Python has a lot of libraries uh, and a lot of uh, uh, routines already developed are available. So uh, these can uh, adequately replace uh, MATLAB student package uh, in order to visualize some uh, numerical methods and uh, their, their background, basically. Uh, so there's, uh, uh, and it's, it's not very hard also to, to develop such, such routines. So it's uh, uh, really very flexible in that, in that manner. Uh, I will show you a classroom example uh, where I will uh, uh, 
we will look at the implementation uh, in uh, Maple Student Package, Python, and uh, LibreOffice Calc. It's uh, the same problem. Uh, solving a nonlinear equation, this one here, uh, in, uh, with the Newton Raphson iterative method. Uh, this equation, we know that it has uh, the exact uh, solution, uh, which is one, so it will uh, help us with um, looking into the, the solutions that we, we get uh, with this uh, iterative method. Uh, Maple student package, as I mentioned, the entire student package is uh, uh, created uh, in order to uh, improve the understanding of students of uh, various methods. Uh, here we can see on the left hand side the maple code and uh, the com we use uh, command Newton within the su student uh, numerical analysis sub package and with various options it provides different uh, insights uh, for, for this uh, method. Uh, so we started with um, uh, with the starting iteration in point two, and the option output displays the sequence of uh, iteration values. Uh, plot provides uh, geometrical interpretation of the method of each iteration, and also there is uh, option animation. It um, enables uh, animating uh, these uh, graphs for uh, each separate iteration. Uh, here is the implementation in Python. So we used the uh, CPy library with the matplotlib and we created a routine. So this uh, here is uh, part of, uh, is one of the routines, the final one. It has uh, several subroutines that are also used. And um, here we created this routine uh, in a way that uh, to show similar things as the uh, Maple uh, student module so we provided here the visualization of uh, the method and also listing of the of each iteration that uh, uh, is calculated within the process so it's a uh, very well uh, it looks very well for to me uh, regarding the the insight uh, in the teaching process to uh, when the students are learning these methods uh, LibreOffice Calc, it's a different approach, of course, so we use it uh, uh, in the first place to make the calculations and here you can see in the formula bar the actual uh, formula that is used and we calculate the values of the function, the first derivative, uh, also the, the iterations and uh, here we also can compare to adjacent iteration values and the actual error because we know the exact solution, so uh, we can uh, use that too. Additionally, uh, the spreadsheet tools, uh, we, we are also able to make some kind of draft of the graph of the function. Uh, so we use a chart of linear type, it is shown here. Uh, it is basically just a linear interpolation of data, so uh, nothing fancy. It's, of course, it's not uh, precise, but uh, it is a good uh, tool to provide us some uh, insight about uh, how the graphic of the function uh, looks, uh, what it looks like. And uh, uh, we have to be careful with this approach since it doesn't um, handle discontinuities of the function. So uh, this has to be uh, something that we have in mind. So to see the conclusions, uh, basically we use uh, software tools in uh, various uh, uh, kinds of application and uh, something that is specific to, to numerical mathematics courses are the mathematical uh, software. Spreadsheet software tools uh, has shown to be very, very useful. And uh, both uh, open source uh, LibreOffice Calc and uh, propriety Microsoft Excel can be uh, equally successful in, in these uh, uh, applications. Uh, and uh, what is uh, even more valuable, I think, is the more numerical software uh, that can be used uh, in, these, uh, in these methods. And uh, we use propriety software, Maple, uh, especially student package, but also Python with uh, mostly CPy and Matplotlib libraries. And uh, on one hand, the Maple student package 
it uh, does provide some some insights in the methods but these methods are it's just a, 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 a smaller number of, of methods that are mostly used in uh, in numerical mathematics on the other hand uh, Python uh, uh, there are many uh, freely available routines written in Python that uh, can also that are created with the intention to make the the methods uh, more insightful and uh, also those that uh, are aren't there cannot can be created uh, rather uh, easily in Python so this is uh, uh, one of the advantages in in such approach uh, other relevant software, of course, can be used with the same purpose. Uh, we plan to include the SageMet in the teaching process. It's uh, built upon Python. And uh, since uh, this uh, school year with the new accreditation, the students of uh, School of Electrical Engineering in the first year uh, will be uh, learning Python in the first year. And uh, then it, it makes sense to, to be uh, more in sync with uh, this program and then include uh, Python, but also SageMath in the teaching process uh, in much more, uh, in larger capacity. Uh, for implementation of programming assignments, I don't have any exact uh, uh, statistics, but mainly because uh, these courses uh, are held both for students of uh, computer engineering and for students of electrical engineering. Students mostly use uh, uh, those tools that are already uh, that they are already familiar with. Uh, so computer science, computer uh, engineering students mostly use uh, C, C++, Python, and uh, electrical engineering uh, students use mostly GNU Octave or, or Maple. These are their preferences when, when I was looking into their uh, assignments in the, in the past few years. That's it, these are the references. Thank you very much. Thank you. We have a few questions from the editorial board. Uh, so um, thank you for this great presentation and, and overview of mathematical software here at the University of Belgrade. But I have a question. Um, nowadays, um, students at uh, elementary school learn Python. Um, as part of the programming curriculum. And I'm not sure how much do they use uh, software in mathematics in elementary or even high school. Do you have any information? Do you think that um, that knowledge would be good prerequisite for the School of Electrical Engineering? What are your, your views on that? Uh, I believe that it will be useful. Uh... So I'm not sure how much uh, they use it in the, uh, the formal mathematical education. I think it's uh, at this moment, it's rather divided uh, clearly. Uh, so the mathematical education is still traditional. That's my uh, overview. Uh, but uh, I use uh, uh, also software in uh, the education of uh, mathematics. Uh, so these are uh, some topics in uh, real analysis of functions of, uh, of, of uh, more valuables uh, with the multiple variables. And uh, I find it very useful uh, to show them the concepts uh, to have them understand these uh, overviews. The exam is traditional uh, paper and pen. But uh, I think it's, I hope that it's helpful for them to, to get the, the insight and in the learning process, I think it's, it's very much uh, helpful for them. So we will see on the one hand, the mathematics, the traditional, more traditional uh, analysis, mathematical analysis, it, it requires uh, a lot of uh, uh, writing and uh, working uh, on the paper. But uh, regarding the insight, I think it's, it's very valuable for them to see because uh, uh, I think nowadays, but nonetheless, uh, students who come to, to study engineering uh, want to see the application, want to see some uh, graphics and so on. I think it's, it's much easier to them to, to remember. Thank you. Thank you.